I think it's vital that everyday Christians are speaking into nuanced cultural issues from a biblical perspective. But I think we need to understand that there are two ways to say, I don't know. The first, I think, is a good, I don't know. And I'll give you an example of that from my life. So a number of years ago, when gay marriage was legalized in America, um, most of my friends were turning their Facebook profile pictures rainbow in celebration of this. I wrote a, a long Facebook post explaining why I was not doing that. It was not based on bigotry or lack of empathy, um, but on a profound belief that there was something more important than our own sexual fulfillment and that there was a love story in this world that was greater than any individual love story between two people. And I had thought long and hard and deep about the question of same-sex marriage, and certainly for Christians, and, and that, that is not something that Christians can participate in. One of my friends asked a question in response that was about people on the transgender spectrum um, and people who are born intersex. Now, in that moment, I, part of me wanted to give an answer. I had some instincts around those questions, but the reality was I hadn't done the research. I hadn't done the thinking. I hadn't had the conversations with real people with real issues. I hadn't studied the scriptures carefully enough on this issue. So the most honest thing I could say was, I don't know. I need to research more on this and I need to educate myself better before I could give an answer that was in any way helpful or meaningful. And I think that at that point in my life was a good I don't know. If today, several years later, as my friends have continued to have that question, if all I have to, to say today is I don't know, I think I've been failing to love my friends. I think I've been lazy. I think I haven't been looking for the resources that are out there where I could develop more of an understanding. Now, do I have to have all the answers figured out? No. But each of us have a responsibility to grow in our understanding so that we can grow in our ability to help our friends and to help ourselves. It's, it's like saying, you know, let's leave giving to the millionaires. <laughs> Until I have a certain amount of money, I'm not gonna share. We can't have that mentality as Christians. We're called to love God with all our heart, all our soul, all our mind, and all our strength. And part of how we love our neighbor as ourselves is by loving them with our minds.